there is nothing that rewards satan more than punishing a dedicated believer in the presence of other potential believers because when they see the pain of one who loves god so much and things go bad it becomes it it amplifies the fear that's why when satan wants to attack believers he does not start with ordinary people he looks for those who have some kind of influence and then he deals with them in a way that discredits god so much this is the strategy ladies and gentlemen i present to you the power of this kingdom that we represent isn't it amazing that when god is silent it is a message satan continues to do what he's doing but it gets to a time when you stand strong where you stand hopeful and know that this kingdom whether you lift me or not oh god i will not bow Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God, but you, Lord. Lord, I will worship you, nothing hands and made, but you. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart sing Lord I will bow I will bow to you to no other God but you Hear me believers, I bring you a message. No matter who you are, the strength of your allegiance to this kingdom will be tested in your lifetime. I give you a guarantee by the God of heaven. This one, you will not pray it away. You will only pray for grace to remain and see God show himself strong and mighty. Some of you as I'm speaking right now, that is the season you are in. It is on account of your strength for God. You would have gotten a job five years ago if only you compromised. But because you are standing, you are now even looking like a fool. Family members are saying, keep being stupid. Then they call in a scripture and say, wisdom is profitable to direct. Is it Christianity we will eat? They will tell you. And you feel stupid for loving him. There are many people who have lost election today who have the credibility but because they made up their minds that they will do it right. Sometimes being right comes with a price. Just because you are right does not always mean you will experience temporal victory. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Let me show you scripture here. If we do not train believers to know that there is a system that attempts to sabotage our allegiance to God, we must get to a point where we restore honor to those who are in pains on account of their dignity for God. Can I tell you this? There are people that have died today simply because they will not renounce Christ. There are people today who may not be experiencing the kind of growth, maybe ministry, because they will not go somewhere and get any other power outside of Jesus Christ. And say, Lord Jesus, if you will not heal, I rather stay and say I do not have the grace, but my hand will not touch any charm or anything to make sure anybody is healed. Can I tell you this? The ways of the kingdom looks deceptfully slow. Everybody will seem to go ahead of you. You are a man of God and God wants to raise you to be a mighty man. And somebody calls you some group and tells you, look, you do ministry this way, you are going to suffer. It doesn't have to be an occultic thing. Just anything that takes you away from Jesus. And it looks marketable. There is a strategy that can increase membership for you. I'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life. I'll be here 
bowing down all of the days of my life I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life five years after marriage no child very soon your family will call you and say look there is a man he's not exactly bad there's just something that we are used to it it all of us that's how you even came self and yet in your visions the interesting thing is that while satan is doing all this nonsense you will go back to bed and see that god will not change what he has been saying your womb will carry a prophet be careful be careful be careful and all kinds of suggestions are coming from everywhere satan is building that image my brothers and my sisters let me tell you this many times you feel stupid when you look around and it looks like you are not moving forward sometimes respectfully speaking loved ones and people who are sincere can look at you and say look at this you graduated 20 years ago till now you have not even built a house the only thing growing in your life is your age look at your classmate he's even in dubai he's everywhere there and sometimes you say lord is this your plan for me when jesus was on that cross you would have called him defeated but something was happening that you did not see he hung between the nails and while he was hanging caesar herod and co were saying finally and satan was rejoicing since you will not bow i will hang you on a tree either ways you will have to listen to me and he closed his eyes in death hell was rejoicing we killed the son of god suddenly a stranger steps into hades the place of the dead what are you doing here and he says when sinners die where do they go i became sin now i'm here and the cohorts of hell were all on him how else would he tell us that he is victorious until we we have to see it in a context and that was the context satan and the cohorts of hell paul was shown this in a revelation fighting to force him now to bow down and when the legal claims of justice were made the bible says he made a public show of them watch this triumphing over them in judgment he now meets face to face with the one he created and say lucifer your rebellion give me the keys this is the kingdom we are part of revelation chapter one i was he that was dead and now is alive and i have the keys that's where he got it from watch this when he held that key he went to hades apostle peter taught us he preached to the saints right who had been waiting for this miracle of salvation they died in faith believing and when they believed he opened those prisons and he said let's go the hymn writer says up from the grave he arose when he came out he came out together with all those people watch this now the last enemy to be destroyed is death and he destroyed death and with power and glory the disciples were shaking you wasted our time we were part of this system now you brought a new kingdom we've lost everything we look like failures but when he resurrected he said all hail he entered the room without opening the door he's showing you the potentials of this kingdom that means look i used to think doors have to open for you to enter but i learned that there is still a way the door can still be closed and you will enter all 
hail he said all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me i know you look like failures for walking with me for three and a half years but you are about to see the power in this kingdom go with this authority go and disciple nations teach them everything i've taught you teach them that somewhere in their life they may see a similitude of defeat but they should wait teach them everything i taught you and while you teach them i am with you i will confirm your words with signs confirm your words with miracles hear me every time evil seems to prevail over good something is happening that is true for this nation that is true for africa can i tell you this our beloved country and our beloved continent there's an army rising up there's an army in the midst of the death and the I'm telling you by prophecy and from scripture it will not end the way you are seeing it like this no see Jesus is not coming back as king of a weak beaten defeated church the kingdom that we serve for a long time it looks like it's a shame to be a child of God but I tell you we're about to enter an era of the apostolic move of God upon the earth economically politically this nation will experience something that it has never seen from independence i tell you this by the spirit of god listen where death ends is also where resurrection starts for now it does not yet appear what god is doing in your life sometimes as we preach the gospel as servants of the living god People even look at us as a nuisance to civilization. What are you teaching? Calm down. You may not see it yet, but something is happening. From the spirit of God, through our spirit, to your spirit man and your mind. When Satan wanted to propagate this demonic software of Babylon, it is a spirit, then belief systems, then destruction. Now that God is bringing deliverance, it comes from the spirit through a new belief system. It takes a while. You may not look like it, oh politician, but God saved you from winning that election because there is one you are going to. Hey, 